this is the new Wave Neo microphone from Ergato that just been recently launched and it comes with the promise of delivering all the clarity and the capabilities of premium audio at an affordable price. But is it worth it? So keep watching cause in this video I'll be covering what is included in the box, how to set it up and the things I like and I don't like so by the end of this video you will know if you should buy it or not. So keep watching because I have a lot to share with you. While this USB mic is specially designed for streamers, it is a perfect fit for talking style YouTube videos just like this one. Even for conference calls, zoom calls, because it captures audio in a way that your built-in mic can only dream of. And it broadcasts your voice with true life accuracy so your audience will experience smooth and professional audio even if you are recording while connected to an iPhone or an iPad. It comes shipped in a box designed with the environment in mind because it is made with over 60% recycled plastic. It continues Elgato's commitment to their sustainable development goals. For this they use recycled plastic free materials with less color to protect water. So when you grab this mic you are not just hearing a difference, you are actually making a difference in the world. So if you take a little trip to the Elgato's website, you'll find this mic priced anywhere between 79 or 99, depending on where you're from. And guess what? It comes with a free shipping and a chill 60 day return and refund policy and you can pay however you want, either PayPal or Apple Pay. Oh, and you also get a 2 year standard warranty. Not bad, right? This cool mic comes with a standard combo of white body and black pop filter. If you're willing to splash a little extra cash, you can totally customize the pop filter with 5 different pastel color options before you hit that checkout button. Now, cracking open the box, you'll find your brand new microphone and all the goodies you need to start crafting top notch audio recordings. What's even better is that it comes with an easy to use wavelength software and lifetime firmware updates all specially for you. You can set it up quickly, in just a few seconds, no additional configuration needed. In fact, you don't have to worry about audio settings if you don't want, because it's already tuned to make it sound amazing. But if you would like to have more control over your audio levels, it is compatible with the Elgato Wave Leading software that you can download for free, both for Mac and PC. Now for mounting the thing, you've got two ways to do it. For most of you, who just want a plug and play experience, without splashing out on extra gear, just pop the mic on the desk stand that comes with it. For this just grab the screw that is included and stick the base onto the end of the riser. Next, use the other screw to connect the other end of the riser to the mic mount. I'd say go with the riser. It's going to bring the mic closer to you and that's going to make a big difference in the sound quality. It is recommended to chat into the side of the Wave Neo, keeping it about a palm's distance for the best voice capture. Now, for those of you who crave a little bit more flexibility, the second option is to mic the mount onto a boom arm, like a cheap aftermarket one I have here. Or you can go with the Elgato's Wave mic arm. But for this, you'll have to reach a little bit deeper into your pocket. Also, a quick heads up, you'll need to remove the pre-installed thread adapter. But don't worry, using a simple coin will do the trick. Now, to make it work with your device, use the supply cable to connect the Wave Neo to the USB port on your PC or Mac. Now an important thing here is if you're thinking of hooking this up to your iPhone or iPad, you'll need an adapter, like a dedicated lightning to USB adapter. Just as a heads up, this is not included in the box. And keep in mind that this mic is directly powered by the device it's connected to and it is a little bit energy thirsty. So if you connect it to your iPhone or iPad with the lightning to USB adapter, be sure to plug in an extra power source, otherwise don't expect long recording times. Now that you plugged in the mic into your device, if you want a clean setup, you can run the cable through the small rubber cable management system on the back of the riser. It hides the cable out of the way and maintains the mic's small form factor design. Another cool thing about this mic is that if you want to keep an eye on your computer's output signal, just plug in the headphones into the 3.5mm jack socket in the back. Now you don't need to run a long audio cable to your computer anymore and you can adjust the volume of your head headphones by using the Wavelink software, but more on that a little bit later. Now if you need additional help setting it up, Elgato's got you covered with a step-by-step -step user guide that walks you through the exact steps that you can access by scanning the QR code on the back of the box. Having everything in place, if you want to get the best performance out of your mic, just position the Wave Neo about 4 to 8 inches away from your mouth. An easy way to measure this is to hold your hand in front of your face with your fingers pointing up. The ideal position is your thumb touching your mouth and your little finger touching the microphone. When talking, always speak toward the front of the Wave Neo, not the tip. It is important to direct the voice above the mute button. Make sure the microphone is placed vertically in front of your mouth, not horizontally. A great feature is that you don't 
don't have to worry about pops because Wave Neo has a built-in pop filter. You are able to capture your voice in its true essence, free from distortion from your laptop or earbud mics. This way your listeners get to hear you loud and clear every single time. Now, in front of your mic, you have a mute button that you can enable with a single tap. When enabled, it turns red so you know you are not transmitting any audio and white when recording sound. The button is easily accessible and also useful when doing conferences or while streaming. So let's do a short mic test so you can compare the audio quality when recording directly on an iPhone 14 Pro Max or a Boya Lavalier mic and finally on the Wave Neo. Keep in mind that the first two are cheap entry level mics that Elgato is targeting to compete with. I kept these recordings unedited for you and did them in the same room with the same conditions so here they are. This is an audio test of my voice recorded on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is an audio test of my voice recorded on the Boya Lev mic. This is an audio test of my voice recorded on the Neo Wave. Now that you heard all three, write me in the comments your options which one do you think sounded better. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, please tap that like and subscribe buttons. This helps the channel grow and enables me to make more videos like this. Also as a quick disclaimer here is that this video is not sponsored by Elgato, but I have put some links to this product so you can check them out yourself. Now let's say you've set everything up and you're finding out that the default factory settings aren't quite hitting the mark for your audio quality, don't worry. This microphone has plenty much more to offer. With the Elgato Wavelink software, you have the freedom to tweak everything just like you would on a pro-level mic. For this, just go to Elgato's website and download the Wavelink software for free. It works perfectly both for PC and Mac. When you run the software for the first time, you will notice that it has only a few things that you can adjust like the volume of your mic and your headphones as well as a mute button for each. But the great thing is that you can add your favorite plugins, filters or audio effects from Elgato's marketplace. Some of these plugins are free but there are some premium ones as well. The ones I added are the noise removal, the compressor and an EQ. The noise removal plugin comes enabled when you add it and helps reduce the noise from your environment. You can tune the threshold and the release using the advanced options in the top right. The value to use here will depend on your environment and you need to experiment with them a little bit until you find what works best for you. Then I also added the compressor plugin because I want more detail in the sound of my voice as well as to flatten or compress press the dynamic range. If this sounds too complicated for you, don't worry, because when you first open up the compressor, the pop-up wizard will guide you and make the adjustments automatically. Later you can go into the advanced section to fine tune the signal and if you don't want to mess with them, just leave the auto makeup box checked and it will do the magic on its own. Finally the last plugin I added is the EQ. Think of an equalizer like a sound mixer. It's all about balancing different parts of your sound to get the best audio quality or even to create some cool sound effects. The graph is broken down into different frequency sections. Low frequencies or bass on the left, high frequencies or treble on the right, and everything else in the middle. Now if you want to add a new point to adjust, simply double click on the line to create a new band. Each band you create gives you three things to play with. Frequency, which is like the center of the band, gain, which lets you adjust the volume, and quality, which lets you decide the range of the frequencies you want to tweak. You can move the band around or select and scroll to adjust these. To change the function of your band, simply right click and you will see options like low pass, high pass, low shelf or high shelf. This way you can add more bass or treble as you need. You can even create specific EQ that suits your voice and your microphone. And once you're happy with your EQ, save it as a preset by clicking on the disk icon. If you want to explore other presets, click on the grid icon and if you want to create new ones, hit on the plus button. And of course, if you ever feeling lost, the help guide or the marketplace is always there to help. Wave Neo also works with the Stream Deck Neo. That means you can adjust the volume, toggle an effect and do so much more with a key press. Now let me tell you the things I don't like about the Wave Neo. The bass only comes in white. Wouldn't a black bass have been a cool color option? Especially if you're planning to mount it on a boom arm, the white bass really pops out and might take the spotlight away from you onto the mic. The next thing is the stand height. Because if you are over 6 feet like me, you have to put some books under the stand to be able to raise the mic close to your mouth. Because of that I had to mount it on the boom arm. The box 
box includes a USB-A to C cable. Nowadays, most of the phones and tablets, laptops, come standard with USB Type-C connectors. So if you're planning to connect it that way, you might need a Type-C to C cable. But hey, I guess they included the other cable so you can easily plug it into your Stream Deck or Elgato Dock. This is just a thought. But it is not all that bad though. What I like about this mic is that it is much cheaper compared to the rest of the entry-level mics. It has a good build quality and that it is a simple plug and play device especially for mobile devices so in conclusion the wave neo stands out not just for its remarkable features but also for its affordability because it magically wipes away the noise from my room capturing my voice just as it is this way my viewers can hear me loud and clear so if you are in the market for a new microphone that not only delivers top tier audio but also won't break the bank the elgato wave neo is your best bet i've put some links in the descriptions for you to explore all the fantastic products from elgato's new Neo lineup. Now great audio is just one piece of the puzzle for creating an amazing YouTube video. You also need a brilliant idea, a title so intriguing that people can't resist clicking, and a captivating script that keeps viewers glued until the very end. Now if you're not a full-time YouTuber yet, you might be finding it hard to upload consistently, which in fact can slow down your channel's growth. But don't worry, I've got just the tool to help you speed up these steps. And I even made a video about it that you can check it out right here. But wait, there is more. This tool has so many fantastic features and to fully leverage all that it can do for you, be sure to watch the next video right here. Now, give me a high five and I'll be seeing you on the next one.